Hi, my name is Carrie. You might know me as Kay Warning or from my shop, 8-Bit Stitch. Welcome back. I have some updates today. I have some progress that's been made on a few pieces. Are they new pieces? Maybe. Maybe I started new projects. Whoops. First, I do have progress on my crochet project. So both of my crochet stockings are now finished. I will insert a picture here as they are downstairs at the moment with stocking stuffers in them. And I just couldn't be bothered to empty them out <laughs> to bring them up for the video, but I will insert a photo of those here. And I've gotten quite a bit done in the crochet tree skirt that I wanted to create this year. It is looking very beautiful. I will, um, I'm almost finished with this. I've got like one, two, three, four, five, like six more rows to do of this one. So I imagine that I will probably finish this by the time this video goes up. So I will probably insert photos of the finished piece so that you guys can see what that looks like. Now watch, I won't finish it in time and I'll have to update you on it next time. We'll just have to wait and see. I get about like two to four rows done a night of that. So I really think I can finish it maybe tonight, maybe tomorrow. Here's hoping. As far as cross stitch projects go, I do have some more progress on this piece by Freudian Stitch. So again, I am just really enjoying working on this. So hopefully you can tell that I've gotten a little bit more filled in down here and I've kind of started, um, it's like a starburst type design around this light bulb. So a little bit more progress on this guy. I'm still really enjoying the colors. Um, it's not a color palette I typically do, not a lot of yellows. So yeah, I still have not re-rolled the whip wheel because I'm still really enjoying this one. Now I do have, I've got some fit, like some like actual finishes, like finished and framed finishes, but I think I'll show you the next one that I've gotten just more progress on that's not completely finished yet. This piece is by Wild Violet Cross Stitch. It is the Snow Globe Stitch Along. Whoops, I started a new project. <laughs> so I've been seeing this stitch along on Instagram and it's really very cute and I just couldn't help myself. I really enjoy Wild Violet's um, cross stitch patterns and I really wanted to, I just really wanted to make this. And it's one of those things that I was looking at and was like, oh, I could totally, you know, finish that within a couple days. So I like justified it in my brain that it was okay to start it because it wasn't a very large piece. It's not a small piece, it's significant, but it's not a huge piece. So I justified it in my brain and I went for it. So, and I'm very happy, it's really fun so far. I'm doing one color at a time and taking photos in between so I can do kind of like a um, time lapse type thing um, on social media and we'll see how that works out. And I'm also doing it on Sparkly Ada, cause why not? It's a snow globe, it makes sense to me. Another justification to me in starting that piece by Wild Violet Cross Stitch was that I finished my Christmas piece. So this is Prairie Homeschooler, um, the Happy Christmas piece. I finished um, all the roofs and got it framed. And I didn't have anything Christmas themed to work on December. So that's another justification for starting that new piece. Yay. <laughs> Um, I really love this frame that I found on Amazon. I will link you guys down below. I got it in two different colors and I just really love how this turned out. It is um, like stained wood. I love how you can see the grain. I got a couple of these and the grain lines are different in each frame. So I will most definitely be picking up more of these for myself because I really love them. And it's six by eight, which I find to be the hardest size like standard frame to find. Really great find on that one. I love it. I have another completely finished framed piece. This is in another color version of the frame that I just showed. It's again a six by eight. This is their, I believe it's blue. It might be gray. 
I'll probably edit it right here to tell you what color it's actually called from the manufacturer. But yeah, this is a gift I am gifting to a coworker who is getting married this year. So it kind of had to take a little bit of precedence because they're getting married very soon. And I want to be able to give them this gift. This pattern is by me and can be found on my shop. I have another complete finish, but it is also another new start. <laughs> this pattern is by Steph X Stitch. So if you follow me on Instagram, you maybe saw the day that I posted on my Instagram stories about my experience working with Mr. X Stitch for the X Stitch mag. Steph reached out to me and wanted to share my story and she really got it seen by a lot of people and I'm so grateful for that. She did also get a little bit of bullying in her DMs, which I am so sorry that she had to endure that on my behalf. Someone told her to chill out Steph, uh, in which she responded with this pattern and I knew I had to stitch it and put it up on my wall to remind myself of the wonderful person that she is and how she stuck up for me and shared my story and I'm so grateful. And I started this piece and finished it in the same day so can't be mad at myself for starting another new project because it's already finished. <laughs> I promise to myself that I will do more work on the pieces that I already have started. I feel like that's a promise that stitchers make to themselves all the time. Do we keep that promise? You tell me in the comments. Do you keep that promise to yourself? We shall see if I can keep that promise to myself. And the last thing that I wanted to show you guys today was actually a gift that I received. This gift has been in the making for a few years now. My friend Moto Roxen, who I've mentioned before, has been stitching a piece for me for quite a while and she wanted to bring it here to me in person and visit. However, a pandemic. So she decided to mail it instead, which was the responsible thing to do for both of us, even though we really wanted to see each other. Are you ready? This is epic. I don't even know if I can get this full thing on camera with my setup, so I might also be putting in a, you know, some pictures. It's me. <laughs> I can't even hold it up for the screen. It's me and my cats. Uh, this is some artwork that was made for me by Joan Veritek. She's an artist that I've loved for years and I reached out to her when I started my Twitch channel asking her for channel art. Um, so she created this image for me and Moto Ruxin turned that image into a pattern and has been stitching it for me and it's completely epic. One of the coolest things is the stitch that she used on the couch. I don't know if I can get this on camera but take a look at this. but it's stitched on like 28 counter or something like that. But the couch is huge. So it was one of those things where um, she had already filled in, you know, the majority of the piece and was trying to decide what she was gonna do with this couch because the couch was the largest portion of the piece. Um, and she found this stitch and I, it's just beautiful. The, it fills in the couch per perfectly. It didn't take her as much time to do as if she were to do each individual cross stitch and it really just turned out beautiful and I can't wait to now hang it on my wall now that I have showed you guys I can hang it up. I'm so excited. Love it. Oh wait, I have another finish that I forgot. So I actually had this all wrapped up as a secret Santa gift that I'm giving to a coworker. I'm giving it with this really cool candle, um, which smells really great, but my cats would not leave it alone. So I actually put it in the closet of my craft room and then forgot that I had another framed finish. This is a piece that I actually finished a little while ago, but I hadn't framed it. I actually had it set aside for maybe like an Instagram giveaway or a Twitch giveaway. Um, and the person that I'm gifting it to, I know will really love it. I had a frame already in my stash that was perfect for it. So it's one of those things where it's a great opportunity to throw in a really unique gift for a secret Santa. And cross stitches usually make like perfect gifts. So this was just fate. Look at how pretty it is. This is also a pattern by Steph X Stitch. It's from her feminist cross stitch book. And this frame, look at this frame, how perfect is this? I just had this laying in my stash. I love it, I hope they love it. I think that is everything. 
So I think my goals for myself, of course, are to finish the Christmas tree skirt, finish the two pieces that I showed you today, the failed my way into success and the snow globe piece, and then to really hone in on the happy little stitch along. I keep telling myself that I'm going to finish the happy little stitch along. I wanted to finish it back in like August of 2020 and it is now December. So I really need to just buckle down and work on that happy little stitch along. Stop avoiding it, it has to happen. And then at that point, I'll have all smaller pieces and it'll probably just feel like boom, 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 boom. And maybe I won't start any new pieces, we shall see. I have one piece that I know I want to start, it's a pattern by myself and I want to stitch it myself. So that's the only one that I could think that I would maybe start in the meantime. I'm gonna do my best. I really am gonna do my best. <laughs> I hope you guys are enjoying these videos and if you want to share the progress of the pieces that you're working on, I'm going to include the link for my Discord down below. As always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I will see you in the next video. Until then, happy stitching! So this, <laughs> I feel so silly just being like, huh, 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 uh. It's so big. It's so, it's so big. It's so big. I'm like peeking up over a fence or something like. <laughs> it's huge. <laughs> Epic cross stitch. It's so big. This is the largest cross stitch that is going to hang in my home.